Hello guys. So this it is very very snowy today in Toronto. Uh, for the last week actually it's been lots and lots of snow. But a few weeks ago I went to like a little short Caribbean getaway. And this is what today's tutorial is going to be about. Well, what you will need is, uh, well, this is what I have, is I have the Caribbean sand, I have some of the cool seashells that I collected, um, you can get them at the Dollarama if you don't have those things, by the way, uh, two colors of acrylic, white and blue, some glitters, and two canvases. Now let's begin. So what I want to start off with is painting the corner if you go on a diagonal, painting this corner of the canvas in blue. Please use left and right strokes so that it starts to look and remind us of water. You can even do little waves. Now let's take pure white onto the brush with lots of water and go on top of the blue especially over here uh, on the edge where the blue meets the white of the canvas okay now let's have some fun with the sand for this you will need uh, any kind of glue so there's white glue and a spoon to load up the sand and the actual sand so first nice thick layer of glue and with the brush spread it around a little bit and it's kind of cool if the glue has like the 3d effect because then the sand is gonna be 3d now let's take our spoon dip it into the sand oh i love the sand it's so look at this it's so nice and clean and start getting the sand onto the canvas uh, you can even press it down so that it starts to take in starts to glue on Take your brush, get the white on it, and kind of bring back the white a little here. It will pick up a little bit of the sand, but it's okay. I kind of like it. I kind of like the 3D white look. Perfect. Now let's put this aside, and it needs to dry for, I'd say, a good few hours. Okay, so here is our other canvas. The idea is very similar to what we just did. It's um, lots of glue. Lots and lots of glue. Mm -hmm. And spread it with a brush. Okay, now back to our spoon and sand. Nice coverage everywhere of the sand. Okay, so now that we have nice coverage of the sand, what I want to do is I want to create a really cute heart and I'm gonna try to do it with the back of a paintbrush or you can try to do it with your finger. The idea is that this is like a heart in the sand. I think it's so cute. And here it is, a little drier. Uh, let's see what happens. Not bad. Okay, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, So what I want to do next with both of these actually is take Mod Podge and 
put a good layer of Mod Podge on top of the sand because otherwise it's just gonna, you know, keep spilling all the time and that's just not fun. So here's Mod Podge. And put a good layer on top. Uh, Mod Podge dries clear so you don't need to worry about uh, the white but it will prevent the spilling of the sand everywhere. So here it is, dried up, looking pretty cool. Uh, now we, I'm gonna kind of position where I want all of the cool seashells to go. So I'm really liking this, off to the glue gunning. The last step in this beauty is I'm gonna take uh, back the white glue and I have a few glittery things and I'm gonna pretty much add certain beads to this landscape. Uh, what I want to do is I want to bring back a little bit of white because it's actually very hard to see the heart. So here it is. Now I am going to attempt to do the same kind of glittery beads right into the heart. Uh, first I want to do is have like a glue right into the heart filling it in with different cool beads So here are the finished products. To be completely honest, I did not expect them to turn out this good. They look so cute. Uh, please try it yourself, especially if you're going for a vacation. This is some fun thing to do and then bring home and just kind of prolong your vacation that way. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Bye.